because you know me, I drink if I fly. So I have a couple drinks before we took off, have a drink in the air, land, try to get some rest, go to the theater, do the show. And that was every single fucking day. And that's what this tour would have been like. Two shows in Portland, I get done at 1.30, right, with my meet and greet. I go, I get back to the hotel room at 3. I'm still popping because of the show. Got a flight at 6 in the morning. I would have been, I would have died. Leanne pulled the plug. When they started adding shows, Leanne goes, fuck this. Someone quote out a tour bus. He's going to die if we put him on the road like that. And so I can't wait that. Here's the best part, right? So I'm bringing in two suitcases full of clothes, right? And I'm leaving them there. I'm leaving them all on the bus. So then when I fly in to fly out, I just like when I fly out for Vancouver, I just show up a pair of sweatpants. Remember, we switched over to sweatpants. <laughs> show up with a pair of sweatpants, some headsets, my phone, a jacket, my wallet. I'm done. No okay. suitcase. No, suitcase no fucking nothing. Just walking into the airport with it on your phone. Just ching, like walk right through. Fly home. Go straight home. You got all your clothes at home, all your clothes on the tour bus. Dude, it, you know, I watched Ralphie do that tour bus and it made no sense to me because I was like, I was like, but other than he was fat. And, but now I look at it and I go, oh, that's a nice feeling to know that you got a home on the road and then a home at home. I can't wait, man. It's so funny, Bird, how when I got here in 97, I stuck around for a while. And then I ate a bag of dicks, and I decided that I needed some more road work, that I really needed to go and hone my craft. And I for, for, I would leave for 10 months. Yeah. Like, 10 months one time. I would leave in November and come back in April. I would ship my clothes to Josh Wolf's house. Wherever I would go to a city that had a good Kmart, I would buy new clothes and ship the clothes. Yeah. You know, I had the the Walkman with the CD player, <laughs> and I learned how to live on, on, and I did it. This is when I did plane and uh, plane, plane and trains. Yeah. Plane and buses. I'm sorry. I only did one train from Miami to Myrtle Beach. But everything else was done on a bus. I loved it. Yeah. The... Like I said, the unknown for me it was really unknown then because there was no dates. There was no there was no I internet start, the way it was. No, no, no. I would start with like January tenth in El Paso, and then I'd have a week off, and then I'd have a week in Toronto, and then I'd have a week in Miami, and then I'd have three weeks off. When I started, it was like that. But as I went along, every week I picked something up. Yoder had a fallout. Milwaukee improv. Do you remember the old Green Bay improv? No. There used to be a Green Bay improv. For real? Yeah. Who goes to it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, in the summertime, they're not going to go watch you. Yeah. And in the wintertime, they're eating cheese, watching the fucking Packers, <laughs> talking about the Packers <laughs> all week. It. I think about it. Who, yeah. When was the last time you went to Green Bay? Dude, they all Go have... ahead. I remember. Go ahead. Give me time. Go ahead. I I've wait and listen. <laughs> no. They don't want to know about comedy. They, they just want to <laughs> tackle people. <laughs> they tackle you at the airport in Green Bay. Nobody goes to Green Bay. Have you ever thought about that? Dude. No, when was the last time you talked to anybody who said, I did this theater in Green Bay and it was fantastic? I'm doing Green Bay on this tour. Are you really? <laughs> yeah. This is the first time. <laughs> yeah. I love I've it. Never, I've, I never been, it. I've never been to Green Bay in my life. I've I always wanted it. to go. I took a fallout in October. Yeah. And they actually had the balls to do a Sunday show. <laughs> <laughs> and if and I heard and they won that week. Yeah. Plus, my buddy played for Green Bay at the time. Yeah. So I could talk shit. I went to we played. His name was Frankie Winters, and we played CYO basketball together. So I did okay. Yeah. It's the people that you go to Green Bay on a Sunday game, Saturday night before they have a game. They're animals. Yeah. Back then, when Brett Favre was throwing touchdowns. You couldn't, you know, there's just some cities that comedy just, you know what? Yeah, we like the ha-ha and he-he, yeah. but we're here to tackle motherfuckers. Like, we don't, we, we just think about football. I thought Hawaii was going to be like that. Did you, have you ever done the Blue Note no, in Hawaii? No, but everybody says it is phenomenal. Everybody's Do, shooting specials in Hawaii. Yeah. They're fucking going Joe on. Coy just shot a special in Hawaii. Yeah, Joe yeah. Coy. Joe Coy. Gabriel's there this week. I <laughs> thought of going down to Hawaii, I was like... They were like, book me in, Hon- in Honolulu at the Blue Note. Are you doing Montana on this tour? No. Again, nobody goes to Billings. <laughs> yeah. Billings just sit there waiting like a virgin. Like right now, if I had my last handful of money, I'd open up a comedy club in Billings because I, yeah. I know I would get my investment back that quick. That yeah. quick. It's overwhelming. It's like what this guy's doing in Utah. What What's he doing in Utah? He's got three comedy clubs, Keith Stubbs, who I love, who's yeah. 
the club Wise Guys is becoming one of the best clubs. Best clubs in, in the, the country. fucking country. In the country. Utah, Salt Lake, Mormons, don't go there. They you got nine wives. What are you fucking kidding me? Everybody wants to laugh. Yeah. So pretty soon, watch. Somebody's going to pop Billings, Bozeman, one of those towns in Montana. And it's gonna be, didn't you tell me about Spokane? Dude, Spokane's fucking there awesome. There you go, the Tri-Cities. Those are the Tri-Cities. Yeah. Spokane, something else. What's the something Tacoma? Else. Tacoma's on the other side. That's I've been, close to, I've been, I've been Tacoma, too. I like you do, that. When you do uh, this... Years ago, there was a lady called Donna Richards, and she booked out of Portland. And she booked a volcano room, <laughs> and it was in a hotel, and it was in some part of Oregon, but it's on the other side, opposite Portland, real close there. So this Spokane and another city is all you have for civilization. Yeah. So they called it the Tri-Cities. My God, when I moved to, right before I moved to L.A., I started I met a girl at that volcano room on a Friday night. We swapped a little spit. <laughs> then she came back with her girlfriends on a Saturday night. We swapped, swapped a little spit. I was a gentleman. I think we, t- we took it out. I ate a monkey, but no, no <laughs> sex. There was no condom. <laughs> and I go back to Seattle, and the phone won't stop ringing. It's this bra, and she's really pretty. I mean, the girl was a fucking knockout. And really sweet. And one day, 4th of July, she f- drove up from wherever she lived, three hours away, and me, her, Josh Wolf, and Malia, Josh's kid's mother, yeah. had like a 4th of July party. And they're like, what a nice girl. And I'm like, okay. And something was wrong with me. I had seen this girl like eight times, and I never went for the monkey. Like, she was that hot. Yeah. We had swapped spit. We had gotten hot and sticky from time to time, but we never really did anything. And one night we're on the phone having a conversation. I go, yeah, next week I got to go to San Francisco. And she goes, well, what do you think if I drive you? And I go, that's okay. You want to drive? And I'm like, oh, my God, she wants to drive me. I had to rent the car. Yeah. She saved me 400 fucking bucks. I go, if you want to drive. And I didn't think... Like, I think now, or like you think when you're 40, I think, well, how I was 30, it's a ride. I don't know what I'm getting myself into. You know, I enjoyed that. Sure enough, she shows up on time, cooler, sandwiches, sundress, looking like a goddess. We're going in like fucking Marines. Do you understand me? Welcome to church, motherfucker.